Welcome back to Skyblock, where last episode I finally got villagers using a witch to cure a couple of zombie villagers. They've been having babies over on their island, so it's time to get a couple of them to make an iron farm. I didn't follow a specific model when building this, but I essentially needed four elements. A spawning platform for iron golems, somewhere for them to fall and die, beds for my villagers, and a zombie to scare them into spawning golems. Starting with the death chamber, I used campfires to make it an automatic farm. As long as I'm within render distance, it'll be running and giving me iron. I'm really liking these alternating slabs, so I used them to keep the golem within the chamber. Up a little bit is the spawning platform. These are not slabs, and if you flood it with running water, the golems will still spawn and get pushed down into the campfires. The villagers get one bed each, but the zombie area got a little more complicated. I landed on using soul sand and water to keep the zombie bobbing in and out of the villagers view. The hard part of this project is getting everybody in place. The villagers moved pretty easily using beds to lure them at night. Essentially you can guide their pathing by only having one bed available to them when their AI wants them to sleep. The zombie was a lot harder by trying to get one from my mob spawner but the creepers kept blowing up and then when I was able to get one into place the villagers spawned an iron golem on my path and it killed the zombie. It took a couple tries to get a zombie in place but eventually I managed. After collecting enough iron to make some hoppers for this farm I went AFK and yeah so we're at a little of almost two stacks of iron and there is the Iron Golem Farm achievement. So while it's definitely not the fastest or the most efficient iron farm, it's doing something good for me. So look, there's another one already. I would like to end this episode by finally fixing this. So essentially I need 11, 11 chests. I might be a little short on wood. There are now 11 chests in my inventory. We want some carpets and then nine of these are gonna be hoppers. And look at that, I still have over a stack left. Then it would go there. One, two, three. One, three. And one, two, three. And then we will put the carpets on top. I need more bone blocks, but this is gonna be helpful. This is gonna be helpful with my bone blocks. So let's do this, this time. Since I don't need to get in there and grab stuff, I feel like it is acceptable for these to be kind of different than I have made them in the past. Maybe strip them. Yeah, that's better. That is much better. And since we have this much iron left, let's go ahead and try to be as safe as I can for now, just in case something does go wrong. Now that, I feel like is looking better. And that's where I'm gonna end today's episode. Thank you all for watching. I'm kind of at a loss now as to what to do next. Like I have the villagers over there. They still need some attention. But outside of that, I feel like things have gotten pretty comfortable here. So if you have any suggestions of something else that I do or try or like make a farm for or something, leave it in the comment section. Because otherwise, I think I'm mostly just trying to finish this thing that for some reason I thought was going to be doable in one episode. For context, this is only half of it. And with that, I will see you all next time. Bye!